Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome back to Hiking in Colorado. Today, I'm going to teach you how to incorporate Caltopo slope shading data into Google Earth for your trip planning. It looks something like this. All right, so in order to make this work, you guys are gonna need four different things. You're gonna need a GPX route file. Do not use a GPX track. You will need CalTopo, Google Earth Pro, and either a desktop or a laptop, because as far as I'm aware, this does not work on the app as of yet. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is download the GPX route file for whichever route that you wanna do, and again, it is important that you use the route and not the tracks. So after you have that downloaded, for here I'm going to just use Pikes Peaks East Slopes route, which is a 14er here in Colorado. But again, any GPX file this will work for. And then we, I've already got it downloaded down here. And then once it's downloaded, I like to just move it over to the desktop, but you guys can you know, obviously designate a folder for it or whatever, but just for this example, I'm just saving it there. And then we are going to come up here to the top left hand side to import under GPX KML or KMZ file and click on choose files and then locate wherever you save the file to and then click open. Then this little box here is going to pop up. I leave everything checked. So go ahead and click import and then I was already on this spot on the map, but sometimes if you import the route, it won't immediately take you to there on the map. So if that happens, just come over here to the route on the left-hand side under lines and polygons and click on that and it'll zoom in there for you. And again, if you guys want information on CalTopo and how to use it for more advanced stuff, let me know in the comments section. This one here, I'm just trying to keep pretty concise for you guys. So for this example, all I'm going to do is I'm going to close out and change the route color and size just so it's a little easier to see. And I will change this to blue and increase the line weight to five. Go ahead and click OK. So now that we got this uploaded, if this is the first time that you have ever used CalTopo, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come up here to the top right hand side under scanned 7.5 and you're going to want to select slope angle shading on the map. So if this is the first time that you logged on, this is what you're going to see. So come up here and again, click on slope angle shading. Okay. Now after that's done, this next part kind of seems a little counterintuitive because you would look up here and think, Oh yeah, I can just export this. But actually you're going to want to come over here to print and then right under Google earth slash Garmin GPS, you're going to click on download KMZ or MB tiles file. This will open up in a separate tab for you and you're going to notice that there is a red rectangle that populates here on the screen. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to format this to encompass the entire route because this is the data that we're going to be importing into Google Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this really quick. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the more, the bigger the box that you choose, the more data that you're going to see in Google Earth. But just for this one, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Now, after this is selected, you're going to come over to the left-hand side of your screen and click on Download KMZ. So it is important at this step, if you haven't downloaded Google Earth Pro, that you do it now because you won't be able to open this until it's downloaded. All right, so again, Download KMZ. And you'll see this download here on the bottom left if you have Windows. Okay, so now that we got that downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click on this right here and it will open in Google Earth. So the first time that you use Google Earth, it is kind of confusing. So just play around with it and I promise it'll come to you. But um, when it first imports, it's going to give you this aerial view. Now. You can see here that this same rectangle is the same rectangle that we formatted in the previous section. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take us down to eye level here just to show you how useful this can be for your trip planning. So now what you can do is you can actually see this in a real 3D environment, which is very beneficial for planning before you even go out because what this slope shading data is going to give you is could give you potential insight 
on dangerous uh, terrain that you could encounter, especially during winter, this is invaluable, guys. Uh, planning happens before you ever step foot on the mountain. So uh, after this is done uh, importing, you can navigate around here and the GPX file that we imported into Caltopo first is now overlaid on top of the slope angle shading and Google Earth. So this blue line is the east slopes route up Pikes Peak. And you can see every part of the mountain that the route goes through and where the potential dangerous terrain could lie. So this is a very, very helpful tool that you can use for your uh, pre-planning stages. And like I said, it is my go-to thing before I even step foot on a mountain. I come in here and import this and see what I could potentially run into on the mountain. Uh, so if you guys do like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I am going to be putting out a lot of really cool new content and would really appreciate the support. Um, but aside from that, I hope you guys have a great day.